Hi guys, welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online. We're in Ardon. Um, about halfway, three quarters of the way through with all quests and fishing and um, uh, books and everything else. So, we're well on our way. No problem. So, we'll just get into it here. My name is Douglas. I'm a writer, director, and I'm still working. And the kind of work that I do, you are surrounded by people who are all younger than you. I had to get help somewhere along the line to stay together. I discovered Prevagen. I started taking it. And after a period of time, my memory it's a game changer for me. that stores everywhere without a prescription. How many times have you tried to clean a stubborn mess but end up with no success? What you need is the all-new waterproof Roby Horsepower. The new cordless and rechargeable power scrubber that cleans faster and easier. Guaranteed. 
watch. Big Doc Oven Grease is no match. It easily blasts away dirt and grime in no time. The power comes from our rotating brushes, spinning at 350 RPM. The incredible torque fights calcium, soap, mildew, mold, and more. Forget harsh chemicals. With just plain water, horsepower can clean bathroom tiles and tubs back to their original shine and luster. It's a game changer in the kitchen where it busts through caked on crud. Take it outside and tackle tub tasks with ease. How strong is horsepower? We took this distressed 100 year old antique and restored it to life new with horsepower. Amazing! Get your Ruby Horsepower Scrubber today with bonus scouring sponge for just $39.99. Save on buying batteries. It's powered with the latest rechargeable technology. But wait, you'll also get this stainless steel brush to make range hoods and gas stoves look brand new again. Yours free. And we're okay. not done. You'll get this smart flex cone brush that fits perfectly into corners, tiny crevices on toilets and tiles, or hard to reach shower door rails. Yours free. And to top it off, we'll include this microfiber cloth to clean delicate surfaces and polish cars sparkling clean. It's also free. Great news. Horsepower is now in stock and ready to ship. But due to high demand, there is a strict limit of two per order. Order now. Call 1-800-317-9970. That's 1-800-317-9970. Or visit horsepowerscrubber.com. So call 1-800-317-9970 now. Camping was fun, but it looks like we brought the woods back with us. If you're a mom, then you really need weather depth for Mother's Day. It's the ultimate way to chip proof your vehicle from laser measured glow liners for the front and rear. It's a cargo liner, seat protector, and seat back protectors. We've got mom's cover. Your turn. Find all these and more gifts perfect for Mother's Day at WT.com. some signals that Hamas is not planning to accept any deal or agreement with us. In the beginning of this, operation in Rafah and in the entire Gaza Strip in the very near future. 
Oh, I'm gonna do my writs too. So let's do my writs. Forgot about that.
Another day, another delivery. Shaw's bones, that looks heavy. How much is in it? Honest labor is its own reward. You get used to the feeling, in case you want. I'm told not to say, but your work is the best I've seen. Our secret, eh? By targeting critical infrastructure in Moscow aims to create logistical hurdles that impede Ukraine's ability to move forces and supplies to the front. These aggressive tactics are likely to continue, and the war is unlikely to end anytime soon. Do you agree with that assessment? Unlikely to end anytime soon? Uh, I, I do. And in addition, I think the Russian ruin the Ukrainian economy and to cause another wave of refugees. Uh, these are all forbidden taxes. Uh, these are war crimes. Uh, after months of debates, the United States Congress authorized $61 billion for Ukraine. Will that change the trajectory of the war? So we are grateful to President Biden and also Mr. Johnson for finally uh, passing this package that, that the U.S. is coming up to roughly what uh, Europe spends on helping Ukraine. We are at roughly $120 billion each. Uh, and 
I just hope the equipment manufactured in the United States uh, will get to the front line to, to help those heroes uh, defend their country. Poland is spending about 4% of GDP on defense. Big issue about the NATO allies are spending their fair share. Four percent is significant. What else can non-NATO countries in your neighborhood do to help against this Russian threat? Well, four percent is not just significant. It's the highest in NATO, including the United States, and we are proud of it. Fair enough. And we are urging all our people to work in defense of the and to the new force in society. Because we don't know if Putin will stop. Uh, if Putin is threatening other countries. Uh, is, um, is, is a threat to all of us. We ran around the United States when you were attacked on 9 11, Poland alone sent the brigade uh, first to, to Iraq, then to Afghanistan. Uh, we now need you in, in, in Central Europe. Good point. All right, so this um, summit, NATO summit, will be in Washington in July, the 17th anniversary. Um, a significant milestone, what do you expect? NATO has gone back to basics. It was founded to deter an aggressive Russia in the guise of the Soviet uh, Union. Uh, we again have an aggressive Russia, but we won the first time, and I think we'll prevail the second time too. Right, of course, thank you so much for your time and your assessments today. Thanks. Houston, Texas is at risk for more dangerous flooding today as rain pounds the region. That story is next. Fine day, isn't it? Thirteen million Americans affected by identity theft in 2022, and the threats are more than numerous. If you're a victim of identity theft, LifeLock works to fix it on your behalf, backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. Enroll now. We're hitting the road, talking to people about their hearts. What the fuck?
Shitty fucking hole right here. But I gotta fish it out until it's done.
For the fourth consecutive year, Interactive Brokers is one of the fastest growing prime brokers and is now number five in Freakin's ranking of the top prime brokers. Interactive Brokers serve both organizations and individual investors. To get better results, Nothing here. get a better platform. The best informed investors choose Interactive Brokers. Introducing Club Advantage. It's everything you need for win, loss, and wellness all in one place. Join today and get a 30 day free trial. You saved our high and mighty premium. Get unlimited access to high protein meals, a dedicated support team, and personalized meal plans that work with any win, loss approach. No matter what purchase and no cancellation fees, plus get convenient delivery on your schedule for free. Join today and get a 30 day free trial. Some question here. Definitely got to put on some coffee.
to help me. They've got my daughter, my Paylith, the veiled heritage. I tracked her here, managed to take out this sentry before he could raise the alarm. But damn it! I'm an old man now. My sword arm is useless. Oriel protect you. Before he died, this bastard told me she's held in some ruins. Take this note, and this elixir of invisibility. The note holds everything I learned from this scum. The elixir is for Paleth. Find her as quick as you can. A member of the first Oridon Marines. I serve under Battle Reeve or Selmo. I'm currently on leave. 
My wife passed just recently. A heritance again. I was assigned to Queen Irene's detail, so my wife went to stay with her sister in Silsalem. The city was sacked, and they were both murdered by these bastards. I won't lose my daughter. Please, you have to find her. How would you let that out then? I'm a better alchemist than a fighter, as you can see here. At least I know how to make a man talk. That's right, Shannon. After days of silence about the protests, President Biden addressed the nation from here at the White House. Protests that are expected to continue throughout the summer, the Democratic National Convention. Violent protest is not protected. Peaceful protest is. Biden spoke hours after violence erupted on the campus of UCLA. Members of the president's own party have criticized his handling of the Israel Hamas war and the protests across the United States. Progressive Democrat Rashida Tlaib, the only Palestinian American in Congress, slammed the police response. Sending in militarized police forces and even snipers to stop these students from exercising their First Amendment rights is truly disgusting. A bizarre scene at the University of Alabama, where both pro and anti Israel protesters chanted the same thing. During the 2020 presidential campaign, as protests also raged across the country, Biden pledged to bring people together. I don't know these kids that they burned in the river. Not, not their inheritance, yes. And obviously not that. Perhaps we may be of service to one another. The first president remains the face. After a giant American flag was unfurled, as a people are. protesters yes, superimposed this image with the no words, of mine. Genocide, Joe. I want to teach these things a lesson. I will be the Secretary Jen Psaki will get the commencement address in two weeks. Republican lawmakers visited GW, including Byron Donalds. Everybody believes in peaceful protests, but this is trespassing now. Critics say the protests have cost Biden support the among system. the voters. Yes, the pact has unloaded arcane cargo all around the globe. Simply touch the crystal to the cargo. The result should be... Right now, Careful, Bill Burns, the crystal has a bite. Not always so friendly when unattuned. Yes, the crystal may backfire if not properly attuned. I can't. My magic is bound. I could try, but if I would see the power the stone allows me, they can't accept pain. that and if they excruciating did, that's pain. pain. I see I've chosen As another trustworthy ally. Very the well. I'll try. A moment. I must prepare the crystal. Yes. Now for the attunement. Hold still. And it's done. Home. Take it. Will the Jewish people be made whole again? Progress is reportedly being made on the latest deal after a delegation from Hamas signed in Cairo, Egypt this weekend. It could result in both the release of hostages and a pause in the fighting. The agreement would come at a critical time. These really preparing these forces for a major ground operation. And the result is your progress gotcha. That for more than one million Palestinians are sheltering from the war. And it is not always available, so I can't say we have enough. But me and my family rest.
Russian worker is soon to get by. As the U.S. continues building a new temporary pier that will eventually help bring more aid into Gaza, during the recent war to Israel, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said more needs to be done. Blinken, who met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu for two and a half hours, reaffirmed the U.S. cannot support a military operation in Rafa. Netanyahu says it will happen. He said Israel will not agree to Hamas's demands, which means surrender, and will continue fighting until all of its goals are achieved. Now, we are learning a few hours ago there was a mortar attack at the Karem Shalom crossing, which connects Israel to Gaza. Hamas has claimed responsibility for the attack that injured seven people, including one person who is in critical condition. That crossing, which is critical in getting humanitarian aid into Gaza, is now closed. All right, Jeff Paul, reporting for us from Israel. Jeff, thank you. Joining us now, too, is Senator Marco Rubio, ranking member of the Senate Intel Committee. Welcome back to Washington Sunday. Okay, so let's start there. Uh, it, it sounds like this hostage negotiation deal is falling apart. Um, Secretary Blinken said Hamas just needs to say yes, but not only does it not sound like they're saying yes, they've got this shelling this morning at an aid crossing uh, that is going to shut it down. You have been there in recent days with the Prime Minister. They say they're moving in on Rafa. Where do we go? Well, it's their war, and they have a right to fight it. These are degenerate savages, not Hamas. I mean, just think about the report that I just heard a second ago, okay? Uh, everything, send in humanitarian aid, support people are starving. Well, that's what they're trying to do. And these guys are launching mortar attacks against uh, the, the humanitarian aid that's coming in. You know that a lot of the humanitarian aid that's getting in, and Israel's allowing it in anyway because they know they need to do it, but Hamas, this stuff's being sold in the marketplace. This administration, this is Israel's war. We should basically say we are on the side of the people who were the victims on October 7th of a bunch of savages and lunatics who came across that border and, and massacred and killed and kidnapped and raped and took hostages back. So that these people need to be defeated. How is Israel supposed to post this to live side by side, alongside, next to these people? And when they talk about displaced people, there are 80,000 Israelis right now that are displaced from the north. They have to live by salt. They are living in hotels. Their kids are going to school online and conferencing their hotels. They can't go north because Hezbollah is attacking them in northern Israel. So this is a time where we need to have not a weak and feeble president, but someone who makes it very clear that we are on Israel's side. They are those good guys in this fight, and Hamas are the evil ones. And these terrible civilian casualties that are happening is because Hamas is using the team of shield. Well, and I think that a lot of people, as we watch these campus um, protests and demonstrations spread, would agree that nobody wants civilians to be killed in this process, but in many of those cases, clearly they have crossed the line to actually threaten fellow students, those type of things. We're hearing now from some international students speaking out saying they worry that because they may be suspended or they can still be going to be here in the U.S. Do you think that's going to be more of you that's an appropriate response? I think Joe Biden, he hasn't done it again because he's weak and feeble, but Joe Biden very early on should have said, as I asked him to do back in October, if you're in the streets of the United States, you're here as a visitor on a visa, okay, you're not an American, you're here on a visa, and you're here to teach, or you're here to go to school, and you're out there chanting on behalf of Hamas and Hezbollah and these terrorist groups, who, by the way, also hate America, we should revoke your visa. If you are here in this country as a visitor on a visa, and you are defacing statues in George Washington, ripping down American flags, putting up Palestinian flags, you should have released the revoke and eliminate it. And, and, I, and we should have been very clear about who side was at the very beginning. Okay, look, there's a bunch of Democratic donors, major Democratic donors, who are behind the groups that are funding all this. I saw the other day, I think it was in UCLA, there's thousands of dollars of plywood that they were using to barricade against the police. They're committing acts of violence, not just acts of anti-Semitism, acts of violence, a vandalism, threatening people. I saw another video with Jewish students who had to get police, had to basically uh, uh, shame the police into a sporting game so that he could go into an area of the university where he had every right to come because of these zombies, these anti-Semitic, left-wing Americans, the president was very, very firm about. And that's why everything in America is chaos, from our border to our campus. Total chaos because we have a weak, we have a feeble president who cannot communicate and refuses to take a strong line on afraid of, of people voting against them in November who support these crazy ideas. Well, do you give us some credit for the speech this week? He clearly denounced what has crossed the line, um, saying, listen, we've got to have free speech protection. We have a First Amendment. Um, he did come out and make strong remarks than that. Um, but at the same time, we haven't seen that we know of action by the DOJ. Are 
Bullies. Thank you. 
fuck? This is a piss off, man. What the fuck? Fuck off. What I can tell you is that this is not a thing, right? The only way that people can apply for refugee status is if they go where they are, where they are, and begin a very lengthy process of vetting. Um, and then once they're vetting and embedded in whatever location they, they are, they are further vetted by DHS and the federal government and others, and then they are admitted. And while, you know, a number of Republican senators and over-caffeinated Florida senators may want to be selling an awful lot of fear right now, I would challenge you to, to, to come up with examples where refugees who have been vetted have come to this country and committed acts of terrorism. And the reason that's a very hard thing to do is because it hasn't happened, right? So now no process is perfect, but the point is it's not a thing because there's no capacity in Gaza right now uh, to vet people on the ground. And uh, while we will continue to admit refugees from around the world, as is our international legal obligation, it is a very strong vetting process. Now I understand not many people have an interest in painting Joe Biden's name and generating a lot of fear, but the reality is it's really, really hard to find examples of vetted refugees who have come to this country and committed an act of terrorism. Okay. Now yeah, you can bring back my fucking map. We've covered a number of cases where people have come here on goals and vettings and have committed crimes. Now, you can quibble on the issue of terrorism, but DHS itself says we miss the mark on a lot of Afghan refugees. So. It's up to them, and we wish them the best. The administration says no announcement on that yet, so we don't even know. And have emails on the Senate program. Congressman, we appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Coming up, we're going to take you live to one of the universities brought to that anti-Israel protest, and then Virginia's Attorney General joins okay. us live as protesters accuse Virginia State Police of going too far on UVA's campus, where a campus was shut down yesterday.
They captured me to manipulate my brother, Ironomy. They had him do a job and then shoved him into a room in the ruins to the north. Regulations from the administration on Title IX 
and things doing, you know, to do with investigating sexual assaults on campus, um, rights against discrimination, those kinds of things. Here is how uh, Education Secretary Miguel Cardona describes what they want to do with this new regulation. These regulations make it crystal clear that everyone can access schools that are safe, welcoming, and that respect their rights. No one should face bullying or discrimination just because of who they are, who they love. So is Virginia going to refuse to comply with this new regulation? If so, why? Because does it go against the argument that the GOP is the party of law and order, respecting institutions, say the executive branch, for example? Well, first of all, these regulations don't go on the title law as far as the party going to Tennessee. It's a whole other thing to get an emergency out of the lead on this. But this is a classic case of what the Biden administration does over and over again. They bypass Congress. They totally over-interpret interpret their uh, a mandate or a statutory mandate and to interpret in a way it's never been viewed before. Uh, this is a radical reinterpretation because they know they can't get this through Congress. And I know Heritage Foundation and others have studied less than 5% of the new laws and regulations Americans have to live through every year are actually passed by Congress. They're passed by these unelected bodies that try to have a new novel interpretation to impose a real far-left view on Americans. And in the response to that last quote there, listen, I've met with some of the students that have literally, they're, they're women that have seen these biological males show up in the locker room without warning uh, that have to, that will not just compete with them. When I talked to one female student, had to find uh, a janitor's closet to change in in a swimming competition. She felt utterly humiliated with no warning. And that's what we want to do. We're going to protect women's sports. I think Title IX is a bedrock principle of protecting women's sports and protecting women in the locker room. And I just think the Biden administration is a classic case of being so open-minded, the brain falls right out. Who in the right mind thinks we have biological males in our women's locker rooms and on our sports teams right now competing against biological women? And so we're good at every chance we get. We're going to stand with our women and we're going to protect them in our women's sports. And I, I think this is a matter of common sense not being very common in Washington these days. Well, to be clear, this Title IX change doesn't deal with athletics yet, but we are hearing the White House is considering that as well. So we'll track all of these changes. Uh, Attorney General, thank you for making time for us. Always a pleasure. All right, former President Trump asking for his longtime aide, Hope Hicks, emotional as she testified in that New York criminal courtroom. Our panel is here to discuss the developments in the case and how it's impacting the race. Good work, right Ms. Crystal. Excellent. So now you see, this gem dampens my magic eye. The, the crystal I gave you, you along with a bit of spell work, should set me free. Some of the I will start the spell. Once I have the crystal weakened, I will tell you to use the crystal I gave you. Using it will be the final boost I need. Then I shall be free. Ready? All on one track. To prove these three SUVs, those are the unstuck. This should work. Now, use the crystal on the stone. Well done. Please, these pigs to your slime. May they rot. Shadow burning awaits. I'll meet you there. Some fucking point. So you can see what the caller is saying live as they say. Making it easy to understand and respond immediately. There is no insurance or Medicare required. Clear caption service is provided at no cost to you through a federally funded program. We deliver, install, and train you on how to use your phone, all at no cost to you. Give your loved ones the independence and connection they deserve. Call now to see if you qualify to get a clear captions phone at no cost to you. Call 1-800-979-0270. That's 1-800-979-0270. When I started my pillow, it was just a fountain solution to my crowding company. Well, since then, with the help of my dedicated employees, we now have hundreds of products, some who might not even know about. To get the word out for having a $25 extravaganza, to pack with the use my pillows, $25. My pillow sit, $25. And for the first time ever, our six pack towel sits, you guessed it, just $25. Our bed, $25. And I've never done this before. Give me a my pillows with all.
Rest of pheasant, some oh, wine, and okay, so meal of cheese. Let me just read you how the New York Times describes this. There's a talk of a sex scandal with a porn star. A surreptitious it's her fault in this mess. It happens, it's just a sort of confusion. No problem. At least it's not taking pay to live as insurance. I can make sure I have a case. Now you're here meddling too. Fine. My escape won't be enough. I gave them some detailed military intelligence. Will you help me retrieve it? Do you want that information in the hands of the PAC? No, I didn't think so. I managed to hide one of their uniforms in my car. Grab it. Then we can slip past the soldiers and retrieve the information. Simple. Meet you outside then. None of these soldiers should work. If we see the Centurion, he's another story. So, to your point, Jonathan Turley says, um, okay, now, Cohen is going to come take the room, and he's got to be the linchpin to this whole case. He says he'll now make the pitch to the jury that they should put his former client in jail for following his legal advice. This would be difficult even for a competent and ethical lawyer for Cohen. It is utter insanity. The rag is betting on a jury no further than the identity of This is a sad situation. Our criminal justice system is supposed to target people who have violated the law, not targeted people because of who they are. In this particular case, I think that the judge has found himself in a very difficult situation. He wants to have a gag order that most of us look at this say is unconstitutional. And wrong. And yet, he does not want to leave the worst state criminal justice system. We have much it to discuss. That, that was Iran, with the leader of the Pact Force, Rella. There's a criminal justice system there where the appellate courts are watching and will enforce the law. That's not what we're saying. Well, and in his um, order, you can get it down the line. So now he's we're waiting for a ruling on, on the next set of allegations from the court. Um, the judge seems to have said, like, it's a huge case. I say. Your men well, aren't as good as you think, Iran. And we were tweeting and talking about witnesses, judges, and jurors to break down the court.
before the election. I think voters should have the opportunity to have the January 6th case, the Georgia case that talks about trying to overturn wow. the last election. Let's we get want out voters of here. to have all of that information before they go to the polls in November. And so this is a complicated case, but what's so interesting, Shannon, is no one is saying that the fact didn't happen, that he didn't pay off a foreign star because he had an affair with her. Well, the question is, well, the question is, so the, the, that goes to political question, right? But this reminds voters of the campaign of the Trump president. This reminds voters of the things that he was focused on. At the end of the day, it may not be criminal, we'll see. But it reminds voters that this is the kind of man they put in the Oval Office. Do you really want to do that again? Do you want four more years of this? Now we can go find my sister. Oh, no. She still worships me, appreciates me, not like my old man. If father were here, he'd lash my hide. Will the changes help her move back the youth vote? Where polling shows he's had a problem. We'll debate after this. Father? Here? Oh, so he's waiting outside the cave then. I have moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Right. Thanks to right, on the road. Um, clear, would you mind if I hang back a few after uh, so we get out of here? Uh, you should go ahead. Tell him how helpful I was before I walk up. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a little bit of Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms. Have a vaccine for COVID-19. This is kind of busy. See this place again. Consequences of the outdated laws and the benefits of common sense cannabis re regulation at the state level. Well, it's time for, this, for the Congress to follow suit. He's honestly a uh, pain for votes. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's what the Democrats do. This is an election year. You're going to have to hear all kind of wild ideas from the Democrats. Okay, so Senate Democrats, you've got Senate Majority Leader Rick Schumer, you have Senator Tommy Coverville talking about Democrats' moves to reclassify their. And this follows just 
I'll just wait for you. Or I'll downgrading be a little short. it as well. Washington Post says this. Attorney General Merrick Garland's announcement Tuesday that he was rescheduling marijuana under federal law was just the latest turn in what Biden's advisors see they keep political strategy. My daughter is found. And my no good son as well. From what I hear. Is this just political banter? No, I, I don't think it is. It may be helpful politically, but one thing you hear from Biden advisors all the time is that he's not getting credit for any of this. What? His, his numbers among young voters My son is a traitor? He gave deployment he plans alone, to the Heritons and the PAC? I actually think they believe this is good policy, in part because it Did he tell you my wife, research, research, his mother was murdered by the veiled Heritons? That he's put all of Oregon in danger? More wives and mothers and daughters? Just so he can feel important? Like a big man? One of those issues that's really popular, including among young people, again, of all political perspectives. Look, Father, well, it's a robber home. You, you I told you I'd kill you if I ever saw your face again. Oh, Father, don't get upset. Please, I, I never meant to hurt anyone. You deserve no forgiveness. Law can take you. Father, no. Please, do something. Back on the train, on the fighting train. I am very, very disappointed that a serious issue... This like is now this official is First Oregon Marine business. Your help is no longer required. I have to. Like this have, is justice. We do take a He's a traitor to the crown, to his family. To He's a traitor to the what crown. He's committed treason, murder, and theft. Has been an How do I justify disaster? that? The least among us are the ones most likely to be harmed. And for this president to refuse to go to Congress and get an up or down vote on this, to get everybody on the record the way our founders intended, is an example of how no, he would rather I have to. I must. My son, my own son. Put this in how can I kill my own flesh and blood? Eronimo, what you've suffer, done is unforgivable. Uh, very serious and significant Fine. Your life well, is yours. My last right act as your father is to spare you. Now leave. Flee, Oregon, and never come back. If I ever see you again, your life is forfeit. Yes, father. I understand. I... Not another word. Go! And not to justify. So that man is no Katie, longer Ohio your brother. Let him go. Would it be a man you know, the wrong choice? Some people like the, the student loan A hundred years with the Marines, and never before have I failed in my duty. Until today, I know myself, the though, I would have come to a great school in the Thank you. Uh, and so this is, is like something that the working class has to pay for. And back to the, the marijuana legalization of your classification, one of the biggest changes this year is the death of my person out talking about this, traveling around, this Vice President Paula Harris, who during her time as Attorney General of California put a lot of young people in jail, particularly a lot of white young men in jail over this issue, and now all of a sudden okay. they want to like the election year. Uh, Stick right here, and, and we'll see you guys next time, all right? Peace out. shows defensiveness and shows that they're actually really worried. And you saw, of course, uh, and he played this earlier, the president coming out and speaking about the protests this week. Um, there's a reason that all of these, uh, that we're talking about all these issues, they have a problem with the vote, and they need it. Uh, they absolutely need it to be president, former President Trump. Well, Deborah Brooks has got a very interesting read uh, in the New York Times also about how the protests actually could, you know, inure to the benefit of President Trump because of the way they kind of Democrat, it shows Democrats as, as the most educated elites now and that Republicans are the working party folks, at least, in big his as well. And a big shift. So, yeah, big shift. Okay, panel, thank you very much. We'll see you next Sunday. Getting the inside scoop on the life of legendary broadcaster Barbara Walters, how she broke the rules, opening opportunities for other women. Author Susan Page's fascinating new book is full of stories and scandals you will not believe. That's next.